Today, I have a quick video showing airflow through a two-cycle or two-stroke engine. I do want to point out that this is a cross-flow engine, which was the design primarily used in older two-strokes, though it's still used today in many small motor applications. The cross-flow design is less efficient than other designs such as loop-charged or uniflow, which are used by most modern larger two-stroke engines because of this increased efficiency and because they don't need specially shaped piston heads. This is the after work garage. So on the engine, the carburetor is going to sit up here. And the reed valve assembly sits here and here. What happens is gas, fuel, and air gets um, mixed in the carburetor and then drawn down into the crankcase by the motion of the pistons up and down. As the piston goes down in this cylinder, it's creating a vacuum in this space, which is going to draw in fuel and air in through the reed valves, through the carburetor in here, or through the carburetor first, in through the reed valves, into this space. Comes, it fills this chamber. And then as the piston comes up, now this is blocked off by a, a, a seal, because the crankshaft has a bearing that sits right there. So each cylinder is essentially going to act as its own crankcase pump. That way, air from that's being pumped, air fuel that's being pumped in here, isn't just going to hop directly over to this one because then it would never get pushed into the cylinder for burning. So air fuel that's made it in here as the piston's gone up now gets pushed, and it can't go back out. It can't go back out here because there's a reed valve assembly that sits here, and it only goes one way. It goes in only. And instead of coming out there, what it does is it comes down through this area and it gets directed up, up here, comes up here, comes, there's a slit right here, and it's deflected into the cylinder, into the combustion chamber. So when the piston's at the bottom of its stroke, air fuel mixture comes in here and since since the piston is pushing down this is pressurized so it's it's actively forced in those holes at the same time or actually happening slightly beforehand the previous combustion products the exhaust from the previous combustion is being deflected out these exhaust ports down into the exhaust so as the piston comes up, sucks air and gas in, um, and then it's burned. The previous air and gas that's already in the chamber is burned. Piston comes down, uncovers the exhaust ports first. So if we see where this just is starting to uncover these, the intake ports are not yet uncovered. So that gives the exhaust a little head start. So it can start going out and then at a certain point when the piston's at the bottom of its stroke, now the high pressure that's built up in the crankcase pushes the air fuel mixture up through here and is, defle and is deflected into these holes that are now uncovered at the bottom of the stroke. Now you notice these holes, when they're uncovered, the exhaust holes are also fully uncovered. That's why the piston shape is the way it is, uh, to try to prevent incoming exhaust uh, incoming fuel and air from coming in here and then straight out the exhaust it tries to deflect it up into the combustion chamber so that is the two-stroke cycle it's the intake side and the exhaust side thanks for watching I'll see you next time on the after work garage.